When I first saw the house, I immediately liked the way it looked as far as um, you know the basic structure of it, but I also thought it was extremely plain and it was like to me an open canvas. One of the um, sort of tricks that I used to help me and my wife figure out you know, how things were going to lay out was I mocked up a lot of the cabinetry in cardboard and that just helped both of us get a 3D visual on how things were going to feel and doing that all ahead of time you're not wasting any sort of valuable shop time with the cabinet guy or he doesn't have to remake things. The back wall behind the, the breakfast nook was actually just um, a blank drywall wall. There was nothing there. And so that was an opportunity where we felt we could have a centerpiece from the cooking functional side of the kitchen and then over at that end would be something to look at as well as you know additional storage. When it came to the kitchen counters, we wanted to do a stone material, and I was more interested in trying to find something that was local as far as maybe North America versus you know overseas and shipping it. So we found this Verde Vermont antique marble, and we liked the color and the texture. It was also um, you know local at least to the United States. The refrigerator, um, you know, it's kind of a bulky appliance and the idea there was is I wanted to have it sort of built in. I didn't want to have the upper cabinet come all the way forward because I felt it would sort of make the entrance into the kitchen too much of a cavern. And so we stepped back the upper to allow for more display space but then also you know maintain as much um, storage as we could. The floor was a particular concern of ours because we have a golden retriever so we were looking for a material that we could use in here that would be very dog friendly, easy to clean, and hold up. And so we started to look at cork. We really like it. Um, doing it two-tone on point gives it a little bit of flair, but not too much, and it stays within the same color tones as the, the dug fur flooring in the rest of the house. I wanted to do a wood ceiling in here. I also wanted it to be fairly rustic. So I found a company that was salvaging heavy timber beams out of Oregon, and they were taking the beams and cutting the edges off and having this as a byproduct. I just uh, re-ripped the edges and it's you know various widths. I think it you know just really adds a lot of character to the to the room. My wife likes to cook, so her most important thing was you know it's got to function and I also wanted it to fit the character of the house and also have a certain design aesthetic and level of quality and uniqueness that you don't see every day in everybody's home.